Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Some of the great stadiums, great traditions, great uniforms in college football. Time to put them on display. Early season action in the Big Ten. That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. Since 1917, Camp Randall Stadium in Madison, Wisconsin, is the venue for our game. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. We'll see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. At the 30, and he's taken down at the 34. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. made at the 47 yard line the reason why it's so crucial to be able to run effectively like this is it keeps the defense guessing they have no idea whether you're passing or running even if you need medium to long range yards Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 47. And they make the stop at the 50. Big kick here to try to pin the offense deep in their own territory. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. So the Badgers and their ground game's always been sensational. It's not always one guy, Herbie. Sometimes they've got two or three that can carry the load. And that's what makes it so tough for this defense is you're not focusing in on just one guy. You're focusing in on really an entire scheme. And because of that diversity, I think it makes it more of a challenge. And you got to be better tacklers in the open field. And, and I think that's really what they've stressed all week is tackling and gang tackling and getting to the football. It's hard to get to guys and make tackles in space. From their own 19-yard line, it's second down. Bryant, the ball carrier, makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. That makes it third and 11. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. Overthrew his man, but boy, did he have some heat on it. He just needs to put a little bit more touch on that pass. Britton is back deep to return the punt. He's tackled at the 43-yard line. 
Wisconsin's defense looks like it's ready to feed off this crowd all game long. It's like having an extra player out there. It sure is, Brad. They are off to a great start in that opening series. Let's see how they play here. Again, trying to just set the tone here early in this game on this next series. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. That brings him second and five. From the 38-yard line, second down. Now he's scrambling. They'll make the sack. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. Throws it deep. Can't make the grab. Hitman awaits the snap. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. Nice run up the middle. Paul's the kind of player that keeps defensive coordinators up late at night, Herbie. I mean, if you load the box and take away the run, he's going to go up on top. If you sit back in the zone, he'll kill you with his legs. I mean, he's a great player. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 24. Tackle around the 27-yard line. That makes it third and three. At the 32, they just inch past the marker. Yeah, it looked like he got it just by the nose of the football. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 32. Scrambling around. Brought down at the 33. to the back and they push him out around the 41 yard line it's third down and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker they'll work the left side there he goes he finally goes down at the 32 yard line you know, Brad, that's the second third down that they've been able to convert on this drive. And this offense right now has really showed a lot of poise and been able to hold on to the football and try to maintain this drive. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. And, and this is the eighth play of the drive. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Hey, check Mike 39. Check Mike 39. 319. He's knocked out of bounds at the 24-yard line. So at the end of one, this one's scoreless.
Welcome back to the action. Just about set to start quarter number two, and we're all tied up. The offensive coordinator has to be elated with the way his offense right now is executed. They're not in a hurry, but they're very, very methodical and very consistent with their approach. It's the third first down that they've picked up on this drive. Throws a bullet over the middle. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. He's scrambling, and he's taken down around the five-yard line. Gain of one yard. That brings, that brings up, up second, second and goal. goal. Check, tight, We've got second and goal. Ball on the five. Here we go, check. He's tackled at about the three-yard line. Gain of two yards. That, that makes, makes it third and goal. Thirteenth play of the drive coming up. Larry, Larry, Larry. Hey, check Mike 39. Check Mike 39. Oh, get him. Get him. Bring him. Bring him. They'll bring him down at the three. And the linebacker comes up and makes a big stop. This is textbook. This is how you're supposed to play against the run. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. Wisconsin could take the lead with this field goal. He gets it up, and it is good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. Jenkins has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. Parker from the four. Tackle made at the 27-yard line. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. And he's tackled around the 39-yard line. That's good for a game 12 yards. First down. From their own 39-yard line. First down. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. That's good for the game. Seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. He faked out everybody in the stadium. When you can sell the run that well, you're going to have the upper hand on the defense. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 33. Quick throw. He gets hit out of bounds at about the 27-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. Man left, man left. After a decent pickup. Gaining five on the play. First down. First and ten. Ball on the 22. Three down, three down. Check 59. He's going to try and scramble. He's taken down at about the five-yard line. A good quarterback knows when and how to improvise. And if he's got the skills, he can also turn a scramble into something big. He's on the run. Room around the corner. Keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. on the extra point. 
Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. Stanford ready to tee it up in Palo Alto. The Cardinals strike through the air, getting into the end zone for a touchdown. And for Stevens, he's caught one for a touchdown. The Cardinals are out front, 14-0, early in the second quarter. 7-3 in this one. Purdue ready to kick this one off. And he'll return this one from the seventh. Brought down at the 29. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Tries to scramble, but he's sacked. Brad, not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. Passing situation here on third and long. Ball on their own 21. Gives it to the back. And they got him for a loss. And he was pretty much stuffed on that run. You know what? That was just a nice job by the defense in stopping him before he could get going and build up momentum. Marcus is the putter. Tackle at the 45-yard line. You know, we're getting so used to pinball football with a lot of points. Kind of fun to see defenses play this well. Kind of refreshing, isn't it? I mean, every single week we call games and you're seeing scores in the 30s and 40s. This is one of those low-scoring games. Which offense will get that big break? Eventually, it could be the team that wins it. Now, I think this defense right now needs somebody to try to lift up their spirits. They seem to really be just out there kind of going through the motions. And I think the last time they were out there where they gave up such a long drive has had an impact and an effect negatively on the psyche of this defense. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. He's at the 40. Tackle made at about the 37-yard line. That'll bring up 32. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Two down, two down. Purdue is up four. He scrambles. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. And they make the stop at the 27. Now he tries to buy some time. Tackle at the 25. One, maybe two yards on the quarterback scramble. Quick throw out to the receiver. And down he goes at about the 19-yard line. Pass out to the tight end, but it's incomplete. So with the half ending, they're just going to try to put three points up on the board. It's up, and it's through the uprights. With only a few ticks left on the clock before halftime, I would expect they'll just squib kick this one. Green fields it at the seven, and down he goes at the 29-yard line. We've reached halftime, and we couldn't have asked for a better first half. The Boilermakers with a touchdown lead. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. 
a tight, hard-hitting, low-scoring affair. Great hey, affair. This, this Great. Is right, you can say it like it is. This is right in your wheelhouse, Pollock. I mean, this this is exactly in your comfort zone. No, I, absolutely. I mean, you like to see people flying around. You like to see defenses dictating to offenses and make them play on our terms. And it's it's fun to watch. It's something that as a great every great defense prides themselves prides themselves on tackling. You know, you didn't see very many missed tackles in the first half that led to big plays and try to limit those big plays and when they do get down towards the red zone make people kick field goals and that's that's how you see dominant defenses year in, year out, and, and that's what we're seeing today. That's going to do it at halftime, just about ready to start the second half. All right, you finish it up, bro. I'm going to get something in the cafeteria. I'm hungry. But, but wait, don't leave until you get my order. Brad Kirk, take the second half. And we welcome you back to the action here, just about set for the second half. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 29. Purdue's continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Nice run there as they work the outside. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Ready. Wide 80. Hot wide. 80. Nice run to the outside. From their own 39-yard line, it's second down. Ready, check, check. And he hits him hard at the 44-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 44-yard line. Give to the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. That's a loss of five yards. That'll bring up second and 15. down now they need to get it down to the 34 hands it to the back loss of one there for the halfback try to change the field position with this kick this punt bounces into the end zone and this will be a touchback so we're just about ready to return to action Purdue is up a score he guns it right side 
That's a great tackle at the 50. First down. Now it's first and ten after the big pass play. And he's leveled at the 41-yard line. That brings up second and one. He's at the 30. He makes his way out to about the 25. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Throws complete, and he's hit right away. Second and three. From the 14 yard line, it's first down. Purdue is up seven. They'll run it, and they'll bring him down behind the line. First down. They've got the defense on their heels now. It's first and goal. Brought down at the five. And it looks like this one's going to come down to the final quarter. 10-3, Purdue. Into the fourth quarter now, right, and right, we're back right. to the action. Two down, two down. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Takes a hand off. Tackle for a loss. The ball's on the six yard line, and we've got third and goal. throws it away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Purdue is up by a touchdown. Kicks away, and he's got it. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. The Horns Frogs arrive at today's game ranked number six in the land. A tight game, two relentless fighters exchanging blows. The Horned Frogs are on top, 17-10. Well, it seems like every year we have one of those weekends where there's upset specials, and that one would be an upset. Pittman gets set to kick this one away. He'll return it from the three. They'll bring him down at the 24. He 
The offense takes the field again. They were forced to punt their last time out. And he's taken down around the 27-yard line. From their own 27-yard line, it's second down. And he's tackled after positive yardage. down 10 yards to go ball on their own 39 Here we go. brought down after a nice run up the middle Tackles him hard at the 48-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That'll make it third and one. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Less than three minutes in the game. He's scrambling. He lost the ball, and the quarterback comes in and scoops up the fumble. So the offense turns over the pigskin. The ball carrier here was just careless in handling the ball. And a great awareness by the defense to jump on it. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. And he's tackled at the 43-yard line. Wisconsin's going to use their first time out of the half here. From their own 43-yard line. Second down. He's taken down at the 45. The offensive lineman played that one perfectly, giving the tailback plenty of space to work with, and he took advantage of it. Tackled at the decent pickup. Johnson gets six yards on the carry. So the Badgers using their third and last timeout. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. He's into the open field. Runs right for a nice game. That's a game of five on one play. First down. They'll bring him down around the 26-yard line. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Under a minute left in the game. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Boilermakers. That could have been it right there. That score might be the deciding factor in this football game. And he tacks on the extra point. A six-play, 60-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running back. So our score, 20-3, to three, taken at the five. 
Bryant's game was off all day. I think you got to credit the defense. And the defense came up with a plan to be able to take him out of the game, and it worked to perfection. I'm sure there are a lot of fans out there hoping for a miracle, but I seriously doubt we're going to see one today. Complete. What a catch. He's tackled at about the 45. Yeah, a little bit too much air under that throw, but this receiver has the bounce you need to bring in those high passes. Quick pass, tackle made around the 18-yard line. The tight end came up with a nice catch that time. Yeah, the big fella's pretty athletic for a tight end, and as a quarterback, it's always nice to have a big target like this to go to. Spikes the ball. From the 18-yard line, second down. He's wrapped up for the sack. That is a loss of second on the play. Check, check. Third down. 98 Weasel. 98 Weasel. And he stops the clock with a spike. They've got one more shot. Let's see if their prayers will be answered with a good old Hail Mary. Throwing right. Wow, what a battle, and what a stop right there. Congratulations to that defense. That's going to be the ball game. Unable to convert on fourth down, and the ball changes hands. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. And this one comes to an end. Our final count in this game, 20-3, Purdue. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.